Department of Ag Economics here at UNL has released its 2014 crop budgets for Nebraska. There are 66 different budgets. Under a certain situation, the estimated cost to produce a bushel of no-till corn with irrigation dropped six cents this year to $3.98 per bushel. Soybeans under the same conditions increased 75 cents per bushel to $10.07. No-till wheat in a fallow system fell 61 cents to $5.25 a bushel. We talked with Roger Wilson about the numbers and input costs earlier this week and started by asking about how the continuing increase in land prices affected the budgets. The additions are, most of them are uh, alfalfa budgets because uh, we have put a, a number of Roundup Ready alfalfa budgets in there. We generally don't just put new budgets in because we want to have more budgets, but uh, mm -hmm. there's usually a reason for it. And, and the Roundup Ready technology in alfalfa is, is new this year. And so we've got a number of budgets. There's a lot of establishment budgets and some, also some production budgets. Uh, the way we go about doing these budgets is I work real closely with Bob Klein. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob Klein is the agronomist at the West Central Research and Extension Center. He's been around for a number of years. and. He basically gets most of the prices for me. He has some uh, people who he contacts, but the prices, uh, you know, we have to start working on this like in October. So in October, we're getting prices that we think are gonna be working for 2014, and sometimes we're right and sometimes we're wrong, but uh, you know, we're doing the best we can on that. And then uh, there's quite a system to go about and, and come up with the machinery cost, which I don't think we'll really go into. No, there's too much math for me yeah. to handle, I assume. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the input prices and land prices, first of all. What did you notice in land prices this year? Well, we use the, uh, the survey that the University of Nebraska does on land to get the land prices. And of course, uh, they have been going up quite a bit for a few years. And, uh, but they are uh, going up a lot faster in the eastern part of the state than in western Nebraska. So the impact on, of land on, on budgets are more in the east than they are in the west. Nitrogen and glyphosate, how do those two uh, inputs affect what you expect to see as a final price? Well, nitrogen and glyphosate are, are major inputs in particular corn. Uh, corn uses a lot of nitrogen. Uh, and glyphosate, if you're using no-till technology, and most of the budgets I talk about in the news release are, are no-till budgets, and so they use a lot of glyphosate. And the fact that uh, nitrogen prices appear to be going lower and glyphosate appears to be going lower has uh, really helped those crops like corn uh, that use a lot of glyphosate and nitrogen. And so corn is decreasing this year in cost of production. Uh, according to uh, my calculations, the corn, has, the cost of production for corn has gone down a few cents. Uh, it's pretty pretty stable, but it has gone down a few cents. Uh, and since um, not as much nitrogen is mm -hmm. used in uh, soybean production, uh, the effect of the soybean production has gone up. And uh, the effect on wheat production is uh, we use the the, the no-till there, so it has also gone down. The cost of corn, three ninety-eight, uh, soybeans at ten oh seven, and wheat at five twenty-five. And we were talking before, corn puts a pressure here with the current price that you could probably get on a cash basis at the elevator, mm -hmm. while soybeans leave you a little upside yet if you sell at the right price. Well, that's the way it appears right now. <laughs> Uh, certainly, the uh, the cost of production compared to the price is a lot closer for corn than it's been for a few years. Any surprises in here that you saw, whether it be in those input prices uh, or any major differences from last year? You know, we should talk about a couple of changes to these budgets that uh, we've incorporated. The first one, uh, we're using a lower price for corn seed. Uh, in the past, we've always used the list price, and most farmers are getting a discount. Uh, by buying early and so we have basically incorporated that discount in there so we've that's been a little change that uh, in the way we've calculated maybe not so much in what the farmers are experiencing uh, the other thing we've done differently is because of the uh, the relative prices of the different formulations of nitrogen we are on our pivot irrigation budgets are showing that the nitrogen is being applied via the pivot rather than, than using anhydrous. And so that's a change. And 
Uh, you know, when the relative prices of the, of the products change, you can sometimes make changes in the operation that, that really make use of those. All 66 Nebraska crop budgets, including sugar beets, dry beans, and alfalfa can be found on the CropWatch website. We'll also link to that information on the Market Journal homepage.